Well, friends, the end of summer is here, which means we're transitioning into fall. And I want to do a video specifically for foods to eat this fall season to keep you healthy and strong like bull. These are foods that are oftentimes fermented, loaded with healthy bacteria and good for your gut. As you'll discover in this video, your gut has a direct relationship to your overall health. And a lot of these foods will give you a boost when you need them. So let's walk around the store and show you the foods you might want to start stocking up on this time of year. I've always been calling it kefir, like kefir Sutherland, but then Leilani's been telling me recently that it's kefir, right? So kefir is a really good thing to drink for your tummy, but for cold and flu season. Why? It's a fermented, probiotic-rich dairy beverage. And this is really cool because this one here is not just uh, organic. It's 100% grass-fed dairy base, which is the best kind of dairy you can get. Keep in mind, cows should not be eating grain at all. They should only eat grass. And nutritionally speaking, grass-fed dairy for you is superior. It says it right here, belly-friendly probiotics, live and active cultures. We checked the other ingredients, that's it. It's just organic, whole, grass-fed milk. When it's fermented like that, it's living. Living foods like this are really good for your tummy and your gut and your immune system. But there's a caveat like there always is. What happens if you pick up something that says vanilla or something that says raspberry, you negate all the effects of the gut from the bacteria. Why? Because it ain't just vanilla. Vanilla also has six grams of added agave nectar, which is slightly better than cane sugar. And this one has six grams of added cane sugar in the raspberry. What does cane sugar do? Obviously, it makes it sweet and yummy, but cane sugar, get this, kills your good gut bacteria and feeds the bad bacteria. Why are you drinking kefir? I'm sorry, kefir. <laughs> old, old habits is not hard. Why are you drinking kefir in the first place? Because it's a gut-friendly drink, really good for your immune system because 80% of the cells that make up your immune system live in the gut. Well, if you're also getting six grams of cane sugar, slightly better with agave, but still prefer not to have it, six grams of cane sugar, you're defeating the purpose in the first place. By the way, if you wanna try something really interesting, this, I've never seen this. Let's say you're a slightly uh, intolerant to certain dairies. This is A2 protein dairy, which is easier to digest. That's also 100% grass-fed, regenerative farmed uh, kefir. Very, very good stuff too. But you're saying, Bobby, I don't do dairy. Can I get the probiotic effect? Yes, they have it here too, but you can't get it, in my opinion, flavored because you're getting 10 grams of added cane sugar. That's two and a half teaspoons of cane sugar per serving. You wanna get a plain one like this that has no added sugar that'll do your tummy and your immune system right. I'm gonna keep going back in this video to the gut. The gut's, <laughs> the gut's everything because like I say, 80% of the immune system, the cells live in the gut. So it's in your interest to foster that. So how could something like this, which is always in my fridge, do that? Well, number one, this is not the size that's in my fridge because for the same price, you can get the big tub of this at Costco, which I highly recommend. This is one of the most gut-friendly foods you can eat. Why? Well, it's sauerkraut, but look at the ingredients. You'll notice it doesn't have any vinegar. Is vinegar a bad thing? No, but with the lack of vinegar, it's a natural fermented sauerkraut, meaning there are billions of living bacteria in here. On top of that, what is cabbage? It's a high-ish fiber food. So you're getting a prebiotic. We call foods that are high in fiber prebiotics because they feed your gut bacteria and you're getting actual living bacteria in here that are incredible for your gut. It's a twofer, it's a double whammy in the best sense of the world. This is fantastic, get it at Costco. Another thing I have in my fridge is fermented pickles. The other night we did Bobby approved burgers and sweet potato fries. This one I wish was at Costco is Bubby's Pickles from Canada, eh? And you'll notice there's no vinegar in this it's another natural fermentation whereas if you pick up something like grillos which sometimes is at costco there's nothing wrong with this but you're gonna see the vinegar in here so it's not a fermented product there's no living bacteria this has it too and i'm gonna tell you once again the more living fermented bacteria foods you can eat 
the better it is for your gut. So between this and the uh, fermented sauerkraut, load up this fall. Let's take a super quick break from the fall foods video because I want to give some love to Birch Living who makes the Birch mattress. They're doing a Labor Day sale right now for 25% off your mattress of choice. They're a longtime supporter of the channel, but the reason why I like them is we've made a lot of videos about non-toxic homes. Usually that pertains to like laundry detergent, air fresheners and stuff like that. It can also pertain to most beds because the materials used for most bedding, the glue, they off gas over time. And that affects your hormone system, their endocrine system, there's phthalates in there. And when you think about how much time you spend on your bed per night, ideally eight to nine hours for me, it can really add up. That's why I love the Birch Organic Mattress. It's organic. It's made with five simple materials and it doesn't have any of the off gas you have to worry about for hormone disrupting, endocrine disrupting materials. And most importantly, it's super comfortable. Uh, you order online, the bed comes to your house, you set it up, it's super duper easy. They have a uh, 25 year warranty and a sleep trial. And uh, when you use my link down below, right now through Labor Day, you get 25% off your mattress of choice. But if you're in the market, I recommend checking it out. But don't sleep literally on the pillow because your mattress comes with two free pillows. But I recommend upgrading to the Birch Organic Pillow. Super comfortable. Doesn't have any of the nasty materials at Off Gas 2. I like it so much that when I go out of town on a long trip, like we're going to Italy in October for the Flav City Culinary Tour of Tuscany, I bring it with me. So so we have them in every single room in the house. They're super easy to set up. If you're in the market, birchliving.com slash flavecity. I fancy a spot of tea every single day. I start my morning with a cup of loose leaf. That's the key word, loose leaf organic green jasmine tea. And if you're feeling sick or you just want to boost your immune system, green and black tea are really good for that. Why? The polyphenols are off the charts for green and black tea and polyphenols are really good for your immune system. But I'll tell you why I don't use the teas and tea bags in a second. But if you want something to complement that, antioxidants are high in teas, but you will not, I repeat, will not find a higher antioxidant tea than hibiscus tea. This is a mix here. It's actually quite lovely, a little pricey, but hibiscus, incredibly high in antioxidants. Green and black, incredibly high in polyphenol. So I would just go on Amazon and order hibiscus tea leaves. It's way cheaper and you're just getting the, the um, tea leaves, They're actually a flower. So it'd be like a, an herbal tea. That's really good. But why don't I drink any tea from tea bags here? Because 99% of the bags at any other store are made of bleach chlorinated paper, paper plastics and rayon. And when you put those into just boiled water to make your tea, call it 205 degrees Fahrenheit, the toxins, the nanoparticles of plastics, the phthalates, the endocrine disruptors will come out of the tea bag into your spot of tea. So what I do is buy loose leaf tea. They have some here, but I go on Amazon, I buy a bag of organic loose leaf jasmine tea and steep that just loose and then strain it afterwards. So if you wanna really combine antioxidants from green and black with, or polyphenols from green and black with antioxidants from hibiscus, put some of those hibiscus tea, uh, leaves in your green or black tea, loose style, strain it, and you're really doing your immune system a big, big benefit. Something you always find in my pantry, especially around fall season, is bone broth. Fun fact, 80% of the cells that make up your immune system are in the gut. And unfortunately, the average person's diet is not very gut friendly, which can lead to immune system issues. So bone broth is very gut healing, but there's a special ingredient here called chondroitin. And chondroitin is especially healing to the gut. Add that to the fact that there's gelatin and collagen in there, which is obviously good for your skin, your hair, your nails. You have a big time winner. The reason why I love Kettle and Fire is because their bone broth or their chicken broth is best in class. The beef bone broth is made from 100% grass-fed beef bones, and the rest is just vegetables, and that's it. And that can't be said for a lot of other brands on the market, because bone broth got really popular quite a few years ago, and you'll see a lot of inferior brands on the market, but even premium ones like this, it looks like it's a good bone broth. Number one, the beef bones are not organic or even non-GMO, and you see something called yeast extract in there, that's a man-made flavor enhancer, not as bad as uh, like MSG, but to be avoided. I really like making soups, stews, and chilies with this, or 
just have a cup of this in the morning. First thing, incredibly good for your gut. In terms, incredibly good for your immune system. I highly recommend this, especially as we transition into fall and cold and flu season. These kind of immune shots are everywhere these days, and that's actually a good thing. I do believe in these, especially when you're starting to feel a little under the weather. And I like the ones that have turmeric in there because turmeric is incredibly good for the immunity. It's anti-inflammatory, it's anti-carcinogen, and something like this has all the right ingredients, including, see where it says ground black pepper there? That's important because turmeric needs to be activated by pepper, so it's good to have it there. The problem is sometimes it can be pricey. So what I like to do, Aldi has a great deal on their brand of immune boosters with turmeric and ginger. Sometimes in the winter, Costco has the Suja Big Pack. If you see it, grab it. It's not something you drink every day if you're feeling under the weather or run down. Shot, 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 shots. Or grab a pouch of the Flav City Immunity Tea. It's a powdered version of this with turmeric, ginger, lemon, black pepper, cayenne pepper to burn the devil out. Either way, this stuff is good and I really believe in it. All right, family, that is it for the foods you're gonna wanna eat this fall. Once again, your gut is your second brain. Your gut is everything. And luckily, the grocery store is full of a lot of gut-friendly foods, but unfortunately, the majority of them are actually bad for your gut and can hinder your health this cold and flu season. So that is it from the grocery store. I got some shopping to do. I leave you like I always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. Later.